Guys, right, so today I'll be painting a Stormcast Eternal from Shadespire. After base coating the entire model with Chaos Black, I applied um, a coat of Emerald Alchemy over the entire model through an airbrush. Once that's dry, I washed the entire model with Coelia Green Shade. Once the green shades dry, I apply uh, a coat of gloss varnish through an airbrush to the entire model. I do this to change the surface tension on the model so that the next wash will stick into the recesses. The next wash is Drakenhof Nightshade and I make sure it's not sticking on the upper parts of the model. Just keep playing around with the wash a bit, so it, it sticks into the recesses. The next layer is a dry brush of Emerald Alchemy. Just go over the entire model. Once the pure emerald alchemy is uh, completely set, I'll um, make a mixture of emerald alchemy and white alchemy in a 2 to 1 ratio and dry brush it again. With some white alchemy added to the mixture, making it a 1 1 mixture. I dry brush the upper parts of the model for the light reflections. With old copper, I paint in all the golden parts. Once the gold's dry, I apply a wash of Agrax Earthshade to all the golden parts to achieve a shade. Once the Agrax Earthshade is dry, Dwarven Gold has been used to achieve first highlight on the golden parts. Make sure you don't go all into the shade shaded areas, just paint the first highlight in. Using pure silver, I apply an edge highlight to all the golden parts. On the larger parts, like the chain mill, on the cloth between the legs, you can just dry brush this on. The next step is to wash all the golden parts with Seraphon Sepia. This will make sure the silver turns to a more gold-like color and it will look more naturally. Dark Flesh Stone has been applied to the handles of the weapons. Next I painted in chart brown on all the leather parts on the model. A mixture of chart brown and earth in a 1 to 1 ratio is then used to apply a first highlight.
Next, all leather parts were washed using Agrox Earthshade. A mixture of 1 to 1 charred brown and earth has then been used to uh, reapply the first highlight, leaving a little bit of the um, previous highlight visible. The next edge highlight is pure earth. The stroll the model is carrying is also painted earth. The next step is to wash the scroll with Agrox Earthshade. A highlight of pure earth has then been applied to the scroll. I make sure the the letters in the scroll stay Agrox Earth shape. The next highlight is uh, a mixture of earth and bone white in a one to one ratio. The next highlight is pure bone white on the scroll, leaving the previous layers uh, a little bit visible. Finish off the scroll with a final highlight of bone white and dead white in a one to one mixture. I apply this only to the really upper parts of the scroll. Dark Ash Stone and Earth in a 1 to 1 mixture have been applied as a highlight to the weapon handles. I'm leaving parts of the Dark Flash Stone from the previous layer visible. The next step is a wash of Nuln Oil on the weapon handles. Indian Shadow and Arabic Shadow in a 4 to 2 mixture have been used to um, paint in the secondary color on the shoulder plates and on the, uh, the rope.
Next I added three parts of hot orange to that mixture and apply your first basic highlight with it. A wash with Rucci Violet has then been applied to the shoulder plates and the um, ropes. Dark flesh tone and earth in a one to one mixture have then been applied to repaint the highlight on the weapon handles. Next, I added two parts of desert yellow to this mixture. And I only highlight the outer sides of the of the weapon handle. After that I add one part white to the same mixture and I paint in an edge highlight on the on the upside of the model on the weapon handles. A mixture of four parts Indian shadow, two parts Arabic shadow and three parts hot orange have been is then made and I use it to highlight the ropes and the shoulder pads. Two parts of dead white have then been added to this mixture to apply a final highlight. Once that's dry, I make a glaze out of Arabic shadow and apply it all over the rope and the shoulder pads. This helps tying the colors together. The glaze roughly consists of one part paint and around three parts water. After this, I painted the base and this is the end result. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked the video. Please like, share and subscribe and see you next time.